All right, cool guys. Hey, it's Cracker Jack. Testicles. I'm out here in downtown LA and I'm asking people in 2016 if uh, all the leftists said that if Donald J. Trump won the presidential election that they would flee to Canada. But how come no one's saying that they would uh, flee to Mexico, El Salvador, Jamaica or just any of these other countries? Are these leftists racist or what's, what seems to be the issue? Well, I actually would go south um, as opposed to north. Um, I actually do plan to go to South America, to Caracas, and um, I have no problem going south. I actually have more trepidation going to Canada, being that it's not only colder, but more difficult to get a visa. So. Uh, I think maybe Canada's easier to move into. Are you gonna Are you gonna match that person? Or are you gonna want to do better, right? For our country, if you want to make America great again, you want to be better. So if you want to be better, you want to make sure those children aren't being sex trafficked or being lost. Hundreds of thousands of children are being lost under the Trump administration. Whether or not that is true, you want to make sure that those children's uh, children are being um, held or incarcerated fairly, right? Where'd you get these facts from? Uh, these facts are news, media facts. Um, what news or media sites? Uh, I think there are different, like yeah, like CNN, student, CNN News, The Hill. Uh, I think probably everyone had their own personal opinions. I don't know why they didn't choose Mexico. I love Mexico. Under Donald Trump, there is this is the lowest percentage of unemployed blacks, and it's actually in the history of the United States, which we is don't five. Don't black people blacks anymore. That happened in the civil rights movement. Yeah. Okay, well, African Americans. My my, my apologies. Uh, well, you know, Mexico has had um, a lot of regime changes, a lot of um, problems with the. Um, the narco state, but that's changing. And uh, how is that changing? Well, it's developing. Um, there have been more hardline presidents recently, and like who can you name a couple? Yeah, well, I mean the the change from um, the um, if that's what Black they've been called. People, whites. They don't have a problem. Offensive. Who's they? Who are these they people? The blacks. Okay, do you, do you, uh, well, uh, on your week stay in uh, Mexico, if you were to plan a vacation, would you feel safe for the entire week? Sure, I mean, I would do my research. I mean, we're from Detroit, so like that's like the wor one of the worst places you could ever come from, so it just matter how and and smart and stuff like that. Yeah. And in any city in LA and Detroit, there's safe places, there's not safe places. All right, right, what about you? Would you rather go to Mexico or Canada? Canada, for sure. And American stuff has, has its own problems. So I feel like Canada, they feel like Canada's probably safer. So, I mean, as for me, I think I would prefer to move to Canada. The most recent change has uh, made it more difficult for, you know, um, not only Americans, but also the, the drug czars to, you know, really have the... Um, I think the wall's kind of unrealistic in terms of like where that it'd be because finding the border in certain areas is very difficult due to the like mountain regions and such. So uh, Unemployment of uh, blacks has been, yes, I said blacks. Um, it's been uh, the lowest in the history of the United States, which is 5.9%. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Um, you need to check your facts. I did check my facts. Your facts are CNN. There you have it. There you have it. Cracker Jack Jew. Hey, Fox and Friends. If you're white, you don't have to question where your facts come from. Boom. Get that on camera. That's good. Everybody's human and love each other. That's all can we get that? Can we? Can I get it? Say one more time. Love each other. Love At each other. The day, that's it. Love each other. There's no reason for that. Shit. Would you ever want to take a trip down to Mexico for like say a week or two? Yeah. Would you feel safe the entirety of the trip? Heck nah. Why is that? It's dangerous, bro. Exactly. Did you know that um, Mexico actually is uh, second in the world for violence, and it's actually behind Syria? Really? Yes. And uh, do you feel safe in the United States? Um. Uh, kind of. Why say kind of? I mean, I don't really like put myself in situations where I don't feel safe. Why is that? Do you have like a brain or something? A what? Do you have like a brain or something? A brain? Yeah. Do we? Does, is it like breaking news that humans have brains? Nah. <laughs> yeah, I have a brain. There you have it. He has a brain. Okay, cool. So um, I'd like to send that to the leftist that he has a brain and um, that he indeed uh, doesn't put himself in situations and he actually, in fact, feels safe in the United States. So you said you feel safe. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. All right, thank you, Cracker Jack Joe TV. Logging off.